Uh, welcome to Durham's Bee Farm uh, in Walls, Mississippi. I hope this helps a new beginner. We are going to discuss putting these frames together uh, and preparing the frames for the hive. This is a, a deep brood chamber. This is a shallow brood chamber. Here's a frame already put together, ready to go in the brood, deep brood chamber. This is a frame for the shallow. And we will tell you how to put comb, how to put foundation in here if you're harvesting comb. Honey. All right, here this is a brood frame we're going to put together, and here's the two the two ends. Here's the top bar, and these two pieces comprise make up the bottom bar. The first thing you're going to do, you'll see this this there's a there's a cleat right here. You're going to pop this cleat out like so. Take it out. And then get your hive tool and see this. Be sure you clean this out good because that's where your foundation is, is going to fit into that groove right okay, there. Okay, uh, this is a jig right here that will hold my 20 frames, 10 on each end, okay? So I'm putting the frames in the, in the jig and they will hold it up and I'll show you why. Okay, in a I've, I've put all of my end bars in this jig. And I have put glue in, in this, see this top part? Not the, not the bottom part, but this top part, I have put glue in the top bar. So here's, I'm going I'm on to, uh, I'm gonna, now I'm going to take this top bar and it will wedge in the top of the end bar. Like so. And I will do all ten the same. Okay, I put all the, attached all the tops, all the tops to the end bar. And now I'm going to put a nail vertically from the top bar down into the end bar. And I've already glued it. That gluing is important. Okay, I've attached the top bars to the end bars. I've turned them I turned upside down. And now I'm going to attach the bottom bar. And this, this brand, the bottom bar consists of two pieces. Now I've got them all put together except one. Now I put, I put glue in, in the ends. That's very important. I can't stress that enough. So I put glue in the end, and now when I push the bottom bars down onto the end bar, then I tap them to be sure they're down good. Okay, I've put the frame together. Now, here's a very important part. I think you can see the frame. Uh, here's your frame. I, I take a square and I put it to be sure the end bars are square with the top bar. This is very important. Okay, if it's if it's not square, you can bend it a little bit. Now this one is square, and now I'm going to put a horizontal nail. Here's the frame. I'm going to put a horizontal nail through this end bar into the top bar. It's very important, and and you'll see this side is thicker. Then this side, because this is where the wedge came out. So I'm going to put the nail or staple through here into the thick side of the frame. But first I check and be sure it's, it's square. Okay. Another thing, when I'm putting the nail through the end bar, horizontally into the top bar, I'm also inspecting to be sure when I, when I wedge this top bar down on the end bar, uh, some, once in a while, this the end bar will split. So watch for splits. Watch for splits up here on the, at the top of the end bar. And watch for splits down here. If you see a split, then you can re uh, prepare it by uh, putting a nail through the, through the end bar uh, uh, to hold the split together. And that's important. Uh, also, <clears throat> as you're doing, putting the, the horizontal nail in, if any glue, extra glue, come out, wipe wipe it off so it's cl it's clean, it's not sticking out. Cause later on when you start to clean this hive, uh, clean the propolis of it, that'll be important. Okay, we're going to wire this frame, this brood frame, horizontally, uh, and you will see on the end bar there's th four holes: one, two, three, four. I only wire the two center ones. Uh, this will keep uh, the the foundation. Nice and straight because you, you want this. That's the reason you you be sure your frame is square 
and and you want your foundation to be be straight. Okay, I I, I run the wire through this hole to the other end, through this hole, back through this hole, and back. Now I've got an, I have a nail, I have a nail right there, and uh, I'm gonna wrap this wire around it a few times, and then uh, knock the nail in and twist the wire off. Now I have. I have two nails here, if you can see them. Uh, one straight. This one here is bowed. So I'm going to uh, put my frame between them. And because this nail is bowed, it will bow this end bar in just a little bit. Now the wire, you'll see the wire is loose. I'm going to take the pliers and pull it snug, not too tight. And uh, now I'm going to wrap, wrap, wrap the wire around this nail. It broke on me, but I've got enough left. Now I'm going to hammer that nail in. All right. Now this the this wire, if you can see it, is 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 nice and taut. And the next thing we'll do is put the we foundation. Have install in. the horizontal wire, and now we're ready to install the foundation. You'll see this foundation has vertical wires going up and down, and at the top is some hooks. We're going to install this foundation so the the hooks will cradle down in this cutout place in the top bar of the frame. So uh, I put it in my lap like so, and I first uh, get the foundation to go in the bottom, the bottom in that slot in the bottom bar. Uh, sometimes it's real easy and goes right in there. Okay, now the foundation you'll see is sticking out the bottom board. I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm going to uh, be sure those hooks are cradled in the in the frame this cleat that we took out earlier I'm going to I'm going to put this cleat in in there snugly and then staple it and that will hold the foundation there uh, so uh, you can just know what I'm doing all right, I put the cleat in there. Now I'm going to put three staples in it. Now, now it will not fall out. You see the this this cleat here, which did look like this, is now stapled in, and it'll hold the foundation. Okay, we put the frame together. We wired the frame uh, horizontally with these two wires. The vertical wire came within the foundation. Now we are going to embed this horizontal wire into the foundation so it, it will help hold it straight. This is a piece of 3 8 inch plywood so this, this will fit down on there just nicely. Now I have a, a, a transformer, two electrical contacts on each end and uh, I, will, I will press the contacts down on, on both ends of the wire. It got hot and then I push these pressure points down, and and then I let off uh, I let off the electricity on this end. It cooled. Now I'm gonna go do the next one. Okay, electrical contact. It got hot. I pressed down. I let off the electric. I let up, and now both of these horizontal wires are now embedded in that foundation. And the purpose is to help keep the foundation nice and straight. And remember, I emphasize, uh, 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 be sure your frames are square both ways. Uh, very, very important. This is such a wonderful day, wonderful day. The bees are flying, they're happy. They have blooms out there. I'm going to show you uh, uh, a vetch. But the bees are flying, they're happy. When they're happy, I'm happy. Thank you, Lord. These are, these are God's bees. He just gave them to me to take care of them for a while. So they're, they're happy. If my wife's happy, my bees are happy, I'm happy. Now I'm going to show you some pur purple vets. But the bees are just tearing it up. They love it, love it, love it. All right. Can you see that purple veg? I, hope, I think you can. Uh, the, the bees just, I mean, they love it. I don't know if